Hi, and welcome to Creating the Custom Investment Items video. I'm Katherine Ellis, a Product Manager with Clarity PPM. You typically use custom investments in Clarity to define your organizational strategy. After you have published the blueprints, you can start creating custom investment items. Let's use the example of an organization that is defining the core pillars of its strategy. Each strategic element will be a unique custom investment item. After you have defined the strategy, you can break it into key objectives that will be used to implement the strategy. Let's open the strategy investment and add our first strategy, delight our customers, to the grid. Next, you associate custom investments with blueprints to customize the layouts of your investments based on your business goals. We can now use the details panel to add critical information such as outcomes expected and the scope of the strategy. Similarly, you can define the other strategies as custom investment items. The administrator has already defined another custom investment called objectives. Let's add an objective as a custom investment item. Let's associate a department and a work status with the objective. Let's also enter the planned operating cost and planned benefit cost for this objective. The planned operating cost is currently an estimate. You can further define the objectives by adding modules, such as staff, tasks, and assignments, using blueprints so that you can successfully collaborate with your stakeholders. You can always add tasks and staff to your objective and use the financials capability to calculate a much more detailed financial plan. After you have listed all your objectives, you can use the Group By option to review the objectives associated with respective strategies. Did you notice that Clarity automatically aggregated the costs associated with each strategy? You can also select specific custom investment options to automatically see various details, such as sum and average, in the bottom right corner of the grid. Let's now switch to the board view and arrange the objectives to categorize them based on their work status. Let's also configure the cards to view Manager, Planned Cost, and Planned ROI. This will help you and your team quickly review the objectives and update their work status. Let's add another objective and specify the relevant details, such as Manager, Start Date, and End Date, Planned Operating Cost, and Planned Benefit Cost. We can now position the objective to the associated work status column. Because you have customized your board layout, you can save your view so that other stakeholders can use this view to review the objectives. You've now learned how to create and save custom investment items by using the grid and board layout. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video of the Custom Investments series, you will see how to staff investments in Clarity.